What's up, bro? How are you guys? Good, good. One second. Are you guys picking up or not? Uh, picking up. Picking up. What door are you? 20? 20? Uh, are you picking up too? One season later. Uh, what's next? What's next? Yeah. Uh, what are you thinking of? 14 pallets. 14 pallets? Yeah. Uh, have you checked into the office? What office? Our office. Uh, over there by door uh, at, at the opposite side? Yeah, ramp 34. No, they, they, no, they haven't told me anything. The lady just told me to back in and just come in, and I've been seeing everybody coming through here. Oh, it's because uh, usually it's probably new or something, but usually you check in with her, and then after her, you go check into the, to our other office. To so the last one? Yeah, because that's where they give you the paperwork. Oh, okay, and then yeah, come back over show, here? You show them the, your BOL number or your pickup number or something. To who? To the, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's like a little okay, so right it's there. this building. I'm not going to go that building, right? No, no, no that's It's that's just this side. Building. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. So you yeah, I did see it. Yeah, you saw yeah, it. Yeah, but it, I go through the outside, right? You go through the outside or you go through the inside. Just be careful. Okay, so I'll yeah. go through the outside and it's on the opposite up, corner. Up ramp 34 and it's going to be on your right. It's going to be the white door. It's going to be right there. And okay. And check in right there in the counter and they should give you the locations and the, uh, the BOLs and everything. All right, cool. Yeah. Thanks, bro. Yeah, no problem. So it turns out that the entrance to check in was over there. Once you get the bills from over there, you come back to this one door. See, a lot of companies, man, I tell you, man, they make things so complicated, bro. Like they could just put somebody to check in drivers right there and then on the spot. Like why have them waste their time, come all the way to the other side of the building and then back again and man, or have a big sign saying, you know what? check in on the other side check in at door so and so and then come back over here but no they make it so complicated man you have to wait there kill time and then they come and then they tell you what to do and you already wasted like 15 20 minutes just standing there assuming that that's where you were supposed to be <sighs> see that's the same sign as the other side designated screening area authorization access prohibited same thing as over there Outside, More complicated. Come on, bro. Hi. Pick up 14 pallets. I only have the zip codes. T force. It shows 14. These are all the different um, zip codes that I have. Okay. Yeah? Okay. And then go back to the other side? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Thank you. See, guys? So complicated. There's no check-in sign. Nowhere. But anyways, we got the bills. Let's go back to the same spot. At least that didn't take forever. Some places will still have you waiting, checking for the information, being specific, and doing all that mumbo jumbo, doing all that BS. Guys, I noticed on the, on the videos, there's like little glares on the screen, but believe it or not, it's not the lens itself. It's the lens guards that I have to protect the lens from scratching. They're made out of plastic. So those things are pretty scratched up. So I ordered some new ones. So hopefully they're coming in tomorrow. So hopefully everything, once I put those back on, it'll look better. I mean, I could take these off and have better quality, but I don't want to risk it falling and cracking the actual lens. So I'd rather avoid that. Deal with the little smudges on the screen while I get Get that and replace them so yeah guys hopefully they load us pretty quick so we can get out and move on to the next one yeah, yeah. where are you picking up uh, i got 14 pallets so where are you door 20. 20? yeah oh. i already gave them um, the paperwork 
Huh? 20. You want me to go over there? And we're almost done here guys. I had to turn off the camera because literally five minutes for one pallet and it was 14. We are on our last one. So yeah, I texted dispatch. I called him. He said just to pretty much just wait it out. So so yeah, one more and we're out. Oh, you know what he's doing? Let me verify. I'm confusing him. I'm like, okay, so it's taking that long because he still has to wrap them. Wow, wow. But not somebody else. And break is in less than a minute. Here comes the last pallet. Break. Is the last one? Do I go back to the office or no? No. This uh, is this is mine. Just sign it and I'll make copies. Okay. Here you go. We make copies. All right, all right, guys. We are finally done. Let's close the ramp. You guys know the struggle. If you know ramps, you know how it is. And we are done. Get our copies and let's go. Thank you, bro. Have a good one. You too. All right, guys, let's go. We're going to take our 15 minute break and then move on. never walk through here always make sure you go around the tractor because you never know you never know and then make eye contact with the driver he's not in there but still always try to find somebody to make eye contact in there safety first guys safety first all right guys let's take a break see you guys in the next pickup Pero qué te dio por chequear? ¿Te dijeron? Oh. So, so you thought, so you thought the containers eran como just regular trailers que básicamente si están allí haz de cuenta que no pensé antes que eran two pieces, el container y el pinche chasis.
this one. Big master, Alois, Alois. Hey, bro, can I use your paddle jack? Thank you. Alright guys, let's go to the next one. Thank you bro. Likewise brother. All right, guys, let's go on to the next. Forgetting you guys, I'm almost forgetting you guys. Let me roll up the window. Do you have a pallet jack or do you need a borrow one? How many do you have? Four, it's like five pallets. I'm almost full. Oh, okay. But yeah. you can fit five? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Just pushing them in. Pushing them in? Yeah, five. three and two. Okay. Um, okay, you can do paper one first. Okay. All right, guys, we made it. What was that? Do you need to have these on the pallet too or no? Uh, does the pallet have the destination where it's going to? No. Yeah, then yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Right. You want to just go ahead and fill it out? And okay. I'll make you a copy. Okay. Here you go. Did they make you wear those now? Oh, no, 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 no. That, yeah, that's just for me. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine if companies were to do that. 
like it's a mandatory for all drivers to wear a camera we'll be like cops but yeah this is for y'all entertainment for y'all entertainment for those watching this right now but yeah friday 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 Thank you, bro. You know what? It's five pallets. Who's calling me? It's probably Rudy Valencia. He didn't work today. He's home chilling. Let me see. Oh, Rudy Valencia. Hey. That's good? Yeah, good. Thank you, bro. We're back at the yard, guys. I had to take my lunch before arriving. So yes, it is dark. We're at the yard. We're gonna back it up to this door right here. So I'm gonna put you guys in your spots. And let's get it. Here it is, Farmer John's. Still, still up. Hasn't been completely demolished. Soon it will though. But yeah, man. I mean, good thing there was work. And I told dispatch, I walked up to the desk, right? Or to the window. I told him, what's up, we have work? He goes, yeah, man, what time you start? I was like, noon. He goes, ah, oh, man, perfect. We're slammed with work. And I'm just like, all of a sudden, Fridays is, is the busy day. All of a sudden, Friday, man, work is crazy on Friday, man. During the week, hey, we're looking for volunteers to uh, to get the day off. We're calling you if uh, you're interested. Don't let it be Friday, man. Don't let it be Friday, cause that phone's gonna be dry in the morning, man. No calls, no texts. They're really gonna be expecting you. Man, that's one thing I hate. So now I gotta pretty much try to squeeze in some OT due to the only eight hours that I got yesterday. 
because I ended up using a uh, discretionary day just because there's no work it's slowing down don't let it be Fridays man don't let it be Fridays It is what it is though. And we are here, you guys. We're gonna swap it out for this one. Or oh, you know what? Should I put it next to it? And then, yeah, I'm gonna put it next to it. Alright guys, I'm gonna put you guys in your spots. It doesn't allow me to use just one line. I have to put both of them. That's basically what I did. I didn't connect the light because there's no need to. Since you're doing a swap, you're not gonna be out on the street. Kingpin release activated. All right, let's do this. All right, we're good to go. Dirty ass windows. So yeah, guys, give you guys a little bit of light. So both of them are a must. Hold the button, three seconds, kingpin release activated. Drop the airbags, put it on drive. Let it slide out. Okay. 
give it a little tug. Drag it if you need to, just to make sure. And that's gonna be it, guys. I think that's gonna be it for tonight. Now we connect all lines. So whenever I do a swap, well, me, I don't know about most of you, but whenever I do a swap, I don't roll up the landing gears all the way. I probably lift them maybe like, let's say two inches, two fingers, two fingers off the ground. That's enough to, to do a swap. But it also depends on the warehouses and the companies where, where their dock can be like in a slope downhill or uphill. And that can determine how, how far up you can go on the, on the landing gear. There's times where you have to raise it up all the way just to be able to get it off the dock. Same thing to back in the other trailer. So, couple pallets, couple little boxes. But yeah, man, that's how it is. So right now I'm gonna uh, find the bills, key my copies, and then take the copies back to the other trailer. So I'll see you guys in a bit. The next day. All right, guys, we are done signing the bills. This is theirs. I already have my copies. Let's go take it over here. And that's it, guys. That is it. Now we got to punch in the bills on the dyad. And that's it. So I'll get back at y'all when I'm done and rolling back to the yard. All right, guys, we got good news. We got more work. We're actually doing, uh, we're taking a rail to UP, United Pacific. So yeah, guys, we're taking this one to UPLA, which is United Pacific Rail Yard. Landing gear, the handles on the other side. A lot of these rails, you guys are gonna notice that the handles for the landing gears it's always gonna vary. Some will be on the left and some will be on the right. See like this one to my left, the handle is right here where it normally should be. This one is on the other side. You guys might not be able to see it, but take my word for it. Let's turn on the light. For a better view. Everything's good. We can't we can't check the locks yet from the container until we pull it out completely. All right, let's go. We gotta wait for him to back that trailer in. Look at how much space we get to back it in that door or a door. That's a jockey, that's a hustler. Those things are way smaller than these tractors. So yeah guys, it's pretty small here. All right, guys, let's go check the locks. And you know what, I need, I need my phone because once again, your boy forgot the flashlight. Okay, everything's good, everything's good. Make sure 
that in this. It's nice and tight. You gotta be kidding me, dude. Is this one light enough for me to push in? Okay, cool. This one. Yeah, I should do it. That should do it. Locks, they're locked, no, the way they should be. This one, same thing, they're locked. The back side, here's the lever. So if it's like that, that means it's open. See, and then I'm gonna close it how it was. Now it's locked, but let me go close it right because I can't see. See this lever? This lever acts like a little lock mechanism. So you lift it up, you push it in, you drop the little lever, and now it's locked. So always make sure. All right guys, I'm gonna put my phone away so I can lock this bad boy. One thing I forgot was the was the cable to lock it up. Let's go get it. Let's go get it. Where are you at cable? Where are you at cable? There you are. There you are. So this one's the one we're gonna use to lock it. And then I have the lock in my pocket. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. So this one. I don't know if you guys can see. We put it in. We always make sure we put the lock on the left side of the door. Because that's basically the main door that opens it. Because if you put the lock on this one, this door is pretty much free to open. And without this one, if you lock this one up, you won't be able to open this one. So it is what it is. The light's gone. The light's gone. So yeah, guys. That's how it is. And then we put this one. Scrap it up. A little double, double the security, double the security, and that's it, guys. That is it. And we're going to Long Beach. We're going to Long Beach, UP Long Beach, to drop it off, and that's it. So I'll catch you guys when we get there. We are a minute away. We're down the street from it. This is UPLA. No, wait. UPLA is the one in commerce. UP Long Beach. UP Playa Larga. So, yeah, guys. Hold on tight. Hold on tight. Oh, it's right here. It's right here. GPS is saying it's on the other block, on the other light. No, it's not the other light. It's this light. And you got me off. And, uh, let's go. Let's go. We got a red light. Yup. You guys can see this clearly. If not, let me help you out. How about now? Hey, much better, my boy. Much better, my boy. If you guys have been here, y'all know the routine. Y'all know how it is. Y'all know how it is. 
you guys gotta you guys gotta use the app to log in and yeah man so i'm gonna strap you guys to my zaddy zoo chest and we're gonna see what's up man we're gonna see what's up all right guys let's go let me take this paper just in case That's what you're gonna need. Hi. Hi. Uh, keyboard? Yes. Okay. Uh, so you're gonna do a lock of pen? What was that? Uh, a lock of pen, so you need to Okay, thank you. Alright guys, let me see, we got, they give you a receipt, they give you a receipt, but you automatically get a notification on here too, so it's, it says yellow, 425, the receipt basically says the same thing, the receipt is just optional if you want it, I haven't been here since we used to be UPS Freight, UPS we used to put them over here on a different section, and since we're completely T-Force now, I wasn't sure if it was the same spot or maybe a different location now, but yeah yellow 425 so let me put you guys back this is it up Long Beach. so i'm gonna fast forward this part until i find it because being inside the yard you gotta be driving pretty slow five miles per hour at least so that's gonna take a long time before i reach my destination so i want to make this video longer so speed it up now We are getting closer. We are on number 358. So I'm gonna put you guys in your spots. Ah, uh, they gave me a weak ass spot, yo. They gave. 425 literally in the middle of two empty spots man i was hoping for a challenge my boy i guess not tonight but watch me struggle though watch me struggle
tap the trailer behind me. I like to tap it. Unless, if I feel that I'm in the right spot, then I don't have to go back further. But if I'm like sticking out way too much, then I go all the way till I tap it. Go forward just a couple inches. There we got it. It's in my boy. It's in. It's in my boy. Confirm parking. Check mark. But yeah, my boy. That's how it is, my boy. That's how it is, my boy. Let's put some some light up in here. There we go. There we go. See some of these rails or containers? This will be loose like this, which it doesn't affect anything. It's just loose. And sometimes, let's say, let's say if you guys get a rail like this, and this is like this, and you're having trouble because it doesn't go in all the way just grab this and play with it maybe it's loose like this one then you can twist it put your line lock it put it back in place you're good to go and like this even if it goes loose it won't even come off it won't come off unless it goes to the side then it'll come off this actually works like a little locking mechanism You know, same thing with the blue one. Need my flashlight, my boy. Need my flashlight, my boy. Open. See? Locked. Open. Locked. Open. So she wants it like this. Let's go to the other side and do the same thing. Let's put these lines away, my boy. Damn, it's chilly, my boy. It's chilly, my boy. Here we go. Another one. Unlock. Release. Yes, sir. I'm assuming this one's going on the train. Like those over there, I don't know if you guys can see. They're stacked right on top of each other. That's how this one's gonna go. Since the chassis is not going with it. Because if it was, she wouldn't have told me. Unlock the, the locks. But yeah, guys, that's it. And, and that's it. So now, all we're gonna do now is head back. Head back and call it a night. Because it's already, it's already 11. I started at noon, so by the time I get back, 12 hours, we're good for today. It was a good day. Alright guys, I'll catch you guys when I leave, or, yeah, I'll catch you guys when I leave. <laughs>